channel. I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, and I'm really tired today. That's okay. Um, I have an exciting new pen to share with you, and this was sent to me by Epitome Pen Company. These are made in India, and it's a new company. They released their first pen, I think it was like six months ago maybe, and this is the second pen that they are launching, and I think it's it's pretty cool. So let's take a look. The pen came packaged in uh, like just like a regular envelope, but it was it's in this um, like paper type thing. It's, this sounds really weird, but I like it because you could actually take this off, keep it as like a little sticker and reuse the packaging. So you know how I feel about packaging. I like this. I'm going to show you the pen and then I'm going to tell you a bit about the company and and then we'll do like the usual writing and stuff like that. So the pen comes in this little box. It also comes with an Ayush paper notebook, which I think has kale on the or cabbage. Very cute. I actually really like Ayush paper. It's, it's a bit toothy, but it is very fountain pen friendly. And this is the box, very simple. I mean, it's not amazing presentation, but I don't really care because I don't really care for boxes. And when you hear the price of this, you're not gonna complain because it's amazing. So inside, there's a lot of branding, but it's because they're little like sticky things, you can take everything off, you can reuse things. And I think that's pretty decent as well. So the founder is on YouTube as Fountain Pen Guy, and I will talk a bit about the, like I said, like a bit about the history of the company. They're quite new. And um, yeah, so this is the box. Very simple. Here is their business card, Vinamra, and very simple. So the pen would be right here. It's quite large, but look at that. It fits the box, not excessive. Thank you, Epitome Pens. I like that. So again, very functional, nothing, no bells and whistles, nothing fancy, but easy to store, very reusable. I like that. Now we have oh, sorry, the Liberty Fountain Pen. So let me just give you a quick background. Uh, Epitome Pens began as a quest to provide the perfect fountain pen to the world. We found that among thousands of fountain pens available there was something missing in each one and there was no perfect fountain pen for hobbyists of course there is no perfect fountain pen for everybody right the a pen that is perfect for you might not be perfect for someone else so that's okay and so this is the second pen that they're releasing maybe this one will be perfect for you uh the founder vinamra start out the started the pen company to deliver fine writing to each and every individual of the company or uh, community while providing them an experience like no other so the epitome pen company it's an indian fountain pen brand manufacturing handmade fountain pens with exquisite care and intricate detail uh, each pen designed with aesthetics and ergonomics keeping in mind the industry standards um, each pen is manufactured with high quality materials and exclusive care towards each and every single step we believe our customers deserve nothing but the best, and we want the writing to be a pleasurable experience for them. Okay, so let me t tell you about the Liberty Pen, which is what we have here. The Epitome Pen's Liberty White Fountain Pen. Uh, simplicity and elegance joined together. The result is an alluring uh, pen made from the state-of-the-art materials. So it is high-quality resin accentuated with the three rings of blue, white, red. The the rings are like slightly raised, ever so slightly. Um, and it comes with, I have two nibs. So this one is the Epitome Pens Can Write Number no. 6 Steel Nib. And I have equipped a Jovo Nib in Broad. And... There's a couple specs we could talk about, but let's talk about the pen. First up, I'm going to tell you, this pen is $27.99 rupees, and that translates to about 40 US dollars. Honestly, steel nib, cartridge converter, resin pen, $40. 
and of course you got to ship it but still that's a crazy price and also Venomina was super kind and is offering you guys a discount if you use gourmet 05 you get five percent off nothing in it for me just referral for you for referral for my name I guess but uh to help people explore epitome pens and get the name out there so thank you epitome pens that's super generous and I'm excited to show this pen to you because I'm I'm actually blown away by the quality and the like the feel and experience of it especially at the price okay so here we have the pen it came with a like QC check telling you about your pen and I think it's really cool like this is really nice it's a thank you note and um, like your paperwork and everything all in one and it's dated so you can kind of remember when you got your pen <laughs> you know this is the pen I'm gonna move this so it's easier to see it is it's a big pen it is bigger than I thought it was going to be it's not super heavy it is they've given me the weight here uh, 26 grams the length of the whole pen is 164 millimeters so it's quite long and if you need that in other in, in inches you're just gonna have to convert it but my hand is like f just under six inches so it's it's a big pen big pen and if we okay let's break it down it starts the cap is wider it tapers down to the back of the barrel um, I like like it looks kind of like a torch it's kind of neat and top is plain there is a steel clip that's very springy quite nice uh, all of this is very smooth you've got the three rings there is no branding on the pen uh, there's a bit of a visible seam sorry my light is blowing that out a little there's a bit of a visible seam right here I don't really care that doesn't bother me so let's uncap it it takes a bit to uncap it one two three four five six so five five full turns not too bad it's a little bit but it's it's not really too bad the, the threads are very smooth um, everything is quite clean the sections really comfortable there's a little bit of a sharp step here it's not an issue for me it's far back enough the pen is pretty big so it's like pretty out of the way for me but you can see this is a really big pen and it's I mean it's really comfortable but it's quite big so there's the balance it's 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 almost like a desk pen because it's got such a long back but if you have to post it can be posted it's very snug but it's like hilarious when it's posted it's just really long um surprisingly still quite comfortable it almost feels like it really does feel like a desk pen in terms of length and stuff but um pretty good balance like i'm i'm shocked so ergonomics like yeah it's really well done and uh this is the jovo nib and it's got the cute little Epitome Pens logo. I think it's really adorable. And as I said, I've got the Canwrite nib, which is an Indian company, right here. Same thing, it's got the little logo on it and it's a medium nib. But I've got the Jovo nib equipped right now because I just, I like broad nibs better. Let's take a look at the size in comparison to some other pens. Uh, we have a Platinum Kuridas, an Estabrook SD Oversize, Mont Blanc 149, Escribo Feel, the Epitome Pens Liberty, Mont Blanc 146, Platinum 3776, Sailor Pro Gear, and a Quebeco Sport. So just to give you an idea of the size, it's much, much bigger than all of the pens here. It is longer, the cap is wider, and it, I mean, it's just a, a bigger pen, but not super heavy. I'm going to just uncap this to show you the, the cap is quite long, but even uncapped, it's still quite tall. So uncapped, it was 
Um, the body is 100 millimeters, the nib is 22, so you're looking at like 122 millimeters. Still quite long, but you saw it in my hand. It's pretty comfy. So let's move this and I can raise the light again. I just realized I don't have my paper right next to me, so let me just grab a piece of paper. I'm so organized, she says, as she has to grab a piece of paper. I'm going to write on this first just to show you, and then we can use the AUSH notebook. So, we have the... Epitome. Oh, I should have probably picked a darker ink. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I thought it would be dark enough. Um, I used just Waterman Florida Blue to test it, and then I was like, oh, I'll use a fun ink for the review. Oops. Um, okay. Well, I'll try to fix that in the editing. Um, this is the Epitome Pens... Liberty Um hmm maybe I should dip it in something darker Okay, we're back. Let's get it darker. It's getting there. Okay, so we have V Epitome Pens Liberty. And I am not going to talk about the ink because I just mixed two inks. It doesn't matter, although it's a really nice color. Um, what I find really interesting about this pen, it's not a super wet writer despite being a broad nib. There's a lot of feedback. And I think if you're used to really smooth writers, like, I think like in North America, we tend to have our nibs ground quite, um, quite smooth and round. Um, if you like smooth writers, you're going to notice the feedback on this. It's not scratchy. It's just, there's feedback and you can hear it. You can feel it. It's still well adjusted. It's well tuned. It's writing. Um, it's not super wet. It's actually quite a, it's on the dry side. Some people like that. I don't mind the ink flow level. I'm okay with it. And in terms of, because this is a Jovo nib, I mean, you can expect the usual from Jovo. It's a firm writer, but you can squeeze out line variation if you have to. And let's just write some cute stuff for fun. Um, let's do this. Let me write the, uh, I was looking for the spec sheet so I can write some, I kind of like the feedback. Uh, this is not super smooth paper, it's Kukuyu. It's smooth, but it's not super smooth. So if you were someone who likes a bit of tooth and a bit of feedback, it's very well tuned for that. It's nice shading, it brings out nice shading. It The flow has been really good. Uh, as I said, a little on the dry side, but you know, no, not, it's not stopping, uh, no skips, no hard starts. In that regard, having a toothier nib is actually really nice. And then the next thing I'm going to do, don't, don't laugh at this, but I just don't feel like having inky hands today, people. So just give me a second. Let's chit chat. I'll probably edit all of this out. The 
this is my new pen. So this is the can right nib. It provides very much the same feeling as the Jovo. Uh, it's just finer. It's a medium. But I mean, that's some impressive free weight writing, right? Because I'm not putting any pressure and this. The weight of this is just the converter and ink, which is really funny. You've seen it here. New style of testing pens and nibs and... Okay, <laughs> let's change the angle and take a look at this. Liberty, 40 US dollars, 5% off with Gourmet 05. A huge thank you to Epitome Pens for creating this company, for creating this pen, uh, for making it really accessible and sending me one for review and sharing a discount code for you guys. I think that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing more from Epitome Pens. Looking forward to their next set of pens. So that is Gourmet 05. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support and all your comments. It's just been really wonderful to have you guys here with me. I hope you have a lovely weekend and uh, you know the usual support in any way you want and um, I'll put links below so you can check it out online. Okay. That's it, everybody. We're gonna go. I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna.